Hey guys, how's it going? Brad here, and we're playing Battle for Azeroth, specifically Rise of Ashara, and this time I'm on my Alliance Hunter in Mechagon. And uh, we've been making some progress on the mech here, it's almost complete, and uh, even though I can fly now, I still want to gather all my mechs. And uh, I did, I do have this mech already on my lead character, which is my Warlock, he ended up unlocking it, but I'm still gonna unlock it here. Um, and ride around on it a little bit. So let's get started and do all these quests. We've got a bunch of uh, world quests to do on the island, and this is one of the main story quests. Like, well, I guess not a main story quest, but it is a story quest. So let's get started. Uh, there's still a lot of work to do, but it's running. We need to give the engine, brakes, and gyro balance actuator a good test. We want to take it out for a drive and see how well they work. Keep your motor running. Okay, test drive. Okay, we've got an emergency brake and a pedal to the metal. I believe I just gotta keep, if I recall, I gotta keep going faster and faster. I reach max speed. Okay, max speed's reached. Emergency break at speed. That's done. Checkpoint one reached. Okay, so I gotta head this way. The funny thing is, is you don't get these options on this mech when you're riding it as a mount. Where you can just keep speeding up and speeding up and speeding up. <laughs> oh, I forgot. There's little mechs. There's shredders and everything all around here. I'm sure I've aggroed something already. Oh no, it's up the hill. Yeah, I've got to do a broad turn. Uh, no! Oh, I can go underwater. Interesting. And I'm not slowed down by the fact I'm in the water. Crazy dangerous. By King Mechagon's decree. Where's the next one? Okay, it's still up on the mountain. This is crazy. There it is. Ah. Alright, turn it in now. Let's see how far I can fall without dying. Oh, I don't die. Nice. There's a chest there. I remember that's there. Alright. I think I could just unhook. more fun trying to run back. You ready to ride? All right. Okay, so we still got a little bit longer to go with that one. Okay, who else? Got flip here needs something. More power! Oh wow, the Connect the Lines quest keeps popping up more often. Oh, this is a rocket one. I love this one. Uh, free six captured mechanomes and catch them before they hit the ground. So we've done this one before. Uh, basically, um, you'll actually see these machines. They will fly over the town and they will scoop up gnomes. And part of the problem... Oh, crap. Part of the problem is... Uh, they're basically taking the gnomes away, and those gnomes will, will be converted into full robots. So you have to save them. But the problem is, is that these machines aren't perfect. They're actually scooping up enemy bots as well, not realizing what they're doing. So you have to use your rockets. There's two ways you could do this. 
See, that's an enemy. So what I try to do basically now, uh, I didn't do it originally, but what I try to do now is I will fire the rockets at the, at the device floating in the air, look up to see what's falling. I'll just take the chance. And if I see it's a gnome with his hands like flailing, I'll run as fast as I can to the spot to try to capture him. Um, but if it's not, I'll run away from it so I don't aggro it. Oh, great. Okay, so I don't think I've showed this on video before, but Chromie is here. She's here occasionally, so you don't see her all the time. Now, if you don't know World of Warcraft and you don't know about Chromie, Chromie is all about time. So she does, like, uh, basically you go back in time with her a lot for different things. And this is one of these things that happened here as well. So I'm very excited that I can actually show this now because I haven't been recording this the last bunch of times that this happened. So she lets you go back in time on Mechagon where the assault on the town was actually happening. So the, the whole ambiance of the town will change. In my travels and many possible futures, I discovered another place much like Rustbolt, but different. In this other time and place, very little is alive. Everything is machines. We must travel to this other place. You will scan the memory banks of the clockwork giants you find there, when we will use the data to ensure that Rustbolt never becomes this other place. Okay, so it's not quite back in time. I thought it was, but uh, we're actually going to go back in time to do that hold on let me check okay let me attach the alpha wires first we'll do that part last usually when you hit these machines in the town they will drop gnomes for sure We'll do these two world quests, get them out of the way, and then we'll go into the alternate reality. I wanted them to use that alternate reality idea for... Um, for, like, an expansion if they were to go into, like, the Emerald Dream expansion. Where, like, you could have, like, Primordial Azeroth where it's all one continent. So you do it that way. And then on top of that, they do the one continent, but then... They can use this kind of idea to have the continent become partially corrupt because you're in the dream, you're not actually in the past. And you could have it be corrupt and uh, it would change and become this... People still think that if one person fires a rocket, the other person can steal it. It doesn't work that way. And I'm glad it doesn't work that way. So I wanted, like, the Emerald Dream to be corrupted by the Void. And what would end up happening in that regard is... The... A specific zone will change before your eyes. So you'll see it, like, creep in and change. And it would become, instead of the Emerald Dream, it would become the Emerald Nightmare. So all the enemies would change. Brand new um, or like trees would vanish and tentacles would appear. Like stuff like that. Like, oh, I just love that. Okay. Let's go for more. I don't see. There must be a lot of players doing this one. When I'm doing this solo, it's very early in the morning that I'm recording this, because I'm just late on recording. Uh, this will go up the same day I record it. So it's uh, 7.45 in the morning. But uh, usually, like, super early in the morning when I do this, I don't have to worry about other players. Nope. Ah, uh, great. It's right by those those little guys are there. I'm gonna get into a fight regardless. So all of us avoid those. Okay, let's go into the alternate reality since there's a lot of players doing this right now, shockingly, at this early in the morning. Uh, let's go into the alternate reality. Chest. Okay, let's go into the alternate reality now, because I want to see... 
um, basically there's these giant bots on all the exits to the town. And you could avoid them, especially if you can fly. And you could do, like, the whole island, you can run around. But mainly it's about the Rust Bolt area along the main part of the island. We meet Let's again. Go. So this is it. Maybe I'll use this as a screenshot. <laughs> I'll try to find something as a screenshot. Something that shows, like, see how the light is completely different? Like, it's crazy. Alright, we got this guy flying super low. Okay, uh, let's pick up quests. So the quests will all be different here as well. They won't be the same as the original uh, timeline. Um, I'm going to be blunt. Your existence is quite uh, suspect. Either you are an agent of King Mechagon, or you have impressive mechanization that I am unaware of. Either way, I'll be watching you very closely. Adapt, improve, overcome, the quest is called. Isra Gearsworn is still alive. She is Rustbolt's strongest fighter, but her legs are broken. If we're going to survive, I need parts to repair and upgrade her. There are machines all over this part uh, with parts we can salvage. With some uh, perseverance, we should be able to fix uh, Ezra's legs. Help me obtain the following parts. Your mind is your sharpest weapon. Mind is your sharpest weapon. Okay, so you can go back in the main timeline as as many times as you want. You just have to talk to Chromie to jump back and forth. Like, look at that. It looks so cool. I love the lighting and how, like... I love, I love everything about it. It's so amazing. Uh, I don't remember when you finish the quests here, if you can... There's supposed to be... Some, oh, there it is. So there are dots on the map showing me that there are... Um, junk heaps on the ground. But I don't see them. Let's mount up. So there's big spiders here. These guys are crazy. Don't go near them. They'll basically insta-kill you. <laughs> I've tried to fight them, even with my warlock, and they destroy me. I think maybe it's just because I'm not uh, strong enough yet, but... you do have to get from the mechs around the island, other parts you get from the chunk heaps. Um, I'm not sure if you can get them from somewhere else other than a junk heap either. I'm really sure. Yeah, so you can get parts off, the same parts off the mechs you can get from the junk heaps.
Gotta stay low. These guys are super dangerous. I don't know if you can see it. If you're on mobile, you may not be able to see it, but on desktop, you should be able to see it. There are There is ash falling from the sky, like rain. It's almost beautiful if it wasn't ash. <laughs> So this is basically a reality then where they lost, essentially. Where the mechs have taken over. Okay, so there's supposed to be these giant bots walking around. It looks like somebody has got ahead of me on it. And they've killed them all, like every single one of them. All along this road, there's supposed to be mechs. Here they are. Scan memory banks I ended up hitting the uh, plot reorganizer instead. There's another one. Two here, nice. Ouch. wish this entire island was all mechanized. Like, I wish there was, like, no plant life. Like, kind of like this would be where the Rust Bolt is, like, a true resistance where, like, they've lost, but they won't give up. And you're basically just trying to survive on this island. That'd be cool. But it still looks great. It's just, I would like it to be even more mechanized. Who knows, maybe we'll get like a flying continent that's entirely fabricated. That'd be cool. If they do a if they do a if they do a dragon expansion, which I would love, where the dragons come back and maybe you have to choose one of the factions, um, I would like them to do a mecha dragon faction. And have one of the like have all of the uh, different zones floating in the clouds, like have them actually floating and you would have a like a usurper dragon group as one of the continents that's mecha dragons and then you could actually get like a rustbolt mecha dragon mount that would be so cool like just imagine it like it would be uh, kind of like how um original burning crusade was where you had all the zones kind of floating uh, in the in the ether, but uh, in this case, you would actually have them on Azeroth, floating in the clouds. But then you have like maybe it's King Mechagon, or maybe it's somebody else who created this mechanized island that has like propellers at the base of it, like giant propellers to hold it up. And they have like all mechanized creatures and life on there, including mechanized dragons. Oh, I would love that.
I also want them to do like a demolished class, demolitionist class. I want them to be called the demolitionist. And I want them to actually have um, kind of similar to how the um, the demon hunter uh, tank class holds their glaives under their under their hand, so the glaive is here. Um, I want them to do like a chain gun for a DPS class, and like a rocket launcher slash grenade launcher for the tank class. So you have tank and DPS. We need a ranged DPS. That's an elite, uh, elite unit. They do all. They've done all melee so far. Melee and well, melee slash healer. They have a healer class for one, but. I do have to go to Anduin at some point and speak to him. Wow, these guys are usually all over here. Who got ahead of me? There we go. They all respond. I can see three of them in a row. How big these guys are compared to me. They're easily three times my height. I love it. So imagine if they did an expansion for our dragons and they had a Rust Bolt faction. Well, maybe not Rust Bolt, maybe it could be called something else, but imagine like a a rusty, like assembled from parts dragon. That would be so cool. And then maybe you could have some sort of advanced mecha dungeon where you could actually get like a dragon that looks really cool with like slick metal armor and stuff. That would be awesome. It'd be like Deathwing, but more mecha it wouldn't be a living, breathing creature. Did I grab it on the last guy? I don't remember. I've been so busy thinking about this uh, dragon expansion I completely forgot. Oh yeah, this is this guy here. Shockingly, there's very few people in here or whatever I'm in here. I usually see probably two or three players at most. I like this. This alternate reality thing. Even the way the lighting is. It's so cool. But I'm of the opinion that, like, even when it's nighttime in Azeroth, I would like to see Azeroth even darker. Like, I don't want to be able to see far ahead of me. This should be the last guy. I don't want ambient light on the streets and stuff to be more pronounced because it's so dark. Like, maybe it'd be lighter in cities, but in the countryside it should be darker. Alright, it may appear that we're done, but we're not quite done. Another quest should pop up the moment I cash this in. Please follow protocol. Keep there you go. Updated. That should save her legs. All right, now we have another quest. Situation normal. The final act. 
Those of us with enough mechanization survived, but it didn't matter. Bondo Big Block sold us out. In exchange for full mechanization, he built giant robots and attacked Rustbolt. He will continue to act against us. Still, those few of us left are uh, those uh, till f those few of us left are dead. We must remove this threat immediately. Build it, test it, deploy it. Okay, so this is another mech you're supposed to get. It's so cool. I don't know how you get it. Ah. I haven't looked up how you get it yet, but I would I would like to get this mech. Or this uh, mount. I'm stuck on the dragon mechs now. That'd be so cool. That's one thing they have not done, is done like dragon mechs. I don't think they've ever done it. Someone's already attacking him. The respawn time's pretty long, so I just try to Understood. Alright, so now we're covered. It will still show you the quests in the other reality on the map. Alright, so we're good. Let's go back. So this is like a world quest within... It's a bunch of world quests within a world quest in an alternate reality. We'll figure that one out. So once you talk to Chromie, you go back to reality, then you cash in the quest with her to we complete her world quest, which leads to another reality with world quest. To ensure world mechanization. We must resist his every action. Wait. What? <laughs> I shot you. I guess you can't shoot them over the town anymore? Might as well take advantage of this while I can because... Oh crap! Oh, that was a little creepy. I, I'm not creeped out by spiders, but imagine if like just a bunch of spiders fell on you. And not small ones either. These ones are probably like a foot, two feet. Wow, there's like six of them. Whoa, you can steal it. I thought you couldn't steal it because it's never happened, but a druid there just stole the drop. Like, that's not cool. Oh no, it's a bomb. What's really bad is <laughs> the drop rate on these are terrible. Slime bosses up the foul manifestation. Yeah, that's really disappointing that quest allows people to steal your drop from those containment units. That's not cool. That's definitely an oversight.
that's three now in a row that I've done that, well, one of my little guys got stolen. But that's three in a row I did that, uh... That got, uh, an enemy, that had an enemy associated with it. Let's go after this one. People are being... Annoying. Oh, I usually angle it like this to see. That's twice now I've had drops for like people are just doing it to everyone. It's it's like freaking Hunger Games. Well, we're at 30 minutes now, and this is going to take forever, and I refuse, I, on principle, I refuse to steal the drops off other people. So I'm going to keep working at this, but it's going to take a while longer. But with that, we are done. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for hanging in there to the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell button so you know when I post the next video. And don't forget to comment and let me know what you thought of the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.